In, diesem Video In this video, I will show you how you can simulate the transport of goods on conveyor systems using the additional contact library of SIMIT simulation framework. The conveyor system simulation can easily be created by dragging components onto a diagram, as you normally do in SIMIT. Two different types of conveyor systems can be simulated. Rail-mounted vehicles conveyors, such as electric overhead systems and floor-mounted conveyors, or non-vehicular conveyors, such as chain, roller and belt systems. Before I start the modeling process, I set the scale of the properties window of the diagram to 1 to 20 mm, because, in contrast to the standard library, the dimensions of the conveyor system and the goods being transported play a decisive role. In order to simulate a belt conveyor that moves goods in a two-dimensional space, I drag the corresponding components onto my diagram from the contact conveyor library. I connect them with one another by superimposing the connection points. Next, I define the total length and the position of the sensors in millimeters in the properties window. I also need to define in the materials list the components for the goods that are to be transported. To do this, I go to the project navigation area and create a new list in the material folder. This folder is only available if the contact library is licensed. In order to be able to distinguish between different goods, I choose the C-Box component, which I can assign different colors to. Then I enter the dimensions of the goods. In the example, the goods represent the bottles in the bottling plant. Now I can start the simulation and manually test the conveyor system. For example, I can put a bottle on the conveyor and transport it from A to B by operating the motors in a manual mode. In the operating window, I can see whether the bottle has been identified by the sensor. Finally, I have to connect the actuators and sensors to the control system in order to automate the conveyor system. The SIMIT Create Device Level function in the Project Manager makes this easy by allowing the actuator and sensor models to be derived from the contact model.